Uh, WRAL News mm -hmm. uh, on Friday spoke to the woman who ripped into a local barbecue restaurant for serving her pink meat. Ann Cook. So her name is Cook. That's funny. So maybe if she, your name is Cook, she feels like she knows more than most people. Like can Cook, she thinks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ann Can Cook. <laughs> Stick around. Make a sound. There's more dumb people in town. Guys, are you looking for the perfect gift for mom or another loved one? The Skylight Digital Photo Frame is a sweet and meaningful gift that will give you a new way to stay in touch with those that you love. It's simple. It's fun to use, even if you're not tech-savvy, Dan. As a special Mother's Day offer, get 10% off up to $30 off your frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash DPT. That's 10% off up to $30 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame. Just go to skylightframe.com slash DPT. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R. R-A-M-E dot com slash D-P-T. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Visit BetterHelp.com slash DPT to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash D-P-T. Hey, gang, if you're like me, you want the best for your dog. I want the best for little Ponyo. Maybe you feed them kibble recommended by a vet or a fresh food diet. But did you know that these are often low in protein, high in carbs, and are the leading cause of weight, mobility, dental, and skin conditions? That's where Mave comes in. Mave's raw food diet is formulated to meet your dog's needs. Make the switch to raw today. Right now, Mave is offering $40 off your first order at meetmave.com slash DPT. Go to meetmave, that's M E E T M. M A E V dot com slash DPT. I'm going to do it one more time for mm -hmm. you. That's spelled M E E T M A E V to receive $40 off your first order. That's meet M A E V dot com slash DPT. Hey, Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Soder. Paul Soder, long time coming. I'm so happy you're here. I finally get my honorary key to Dumb, to dumb People oh, Town. Hey, in. man. You're in. And it's a key that doesn't work. It's like one of those keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It breaks off it in, the right. every, in the lock. Have you done yeah. that? Yeah. I did that recently. You broke, broke a key a off key. in the lock? Yeah. My wife's like the door to her office was like when it rained, it expanded. And I'm like, I'll just put this in here. And I literally broke it Snap. off. Snap. We had to call a locksmith and get it. I felt like I was the mayor of dumb people. Uh, I have a Tesla now and I have lost the key. And oh, but the course. car seems to still be working. Yeah, because of your like, phone. Okay, so as yeah. long as I have my phone, uh, but I love so that why he, do they give us the key? So, but I love that he because didn't Because people could drive your car with the without having access to your car via their phone. If they just have the key, they can Dan, I want you to explain to him how the frunk works. <laughs> anyway, uh, Paul Soder is with us. If you know or you recognize this voice, you recognize if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, you're probably a fan of Super Troopers and Broken Lizard. Everything mm -hmm. great that the Broken Lizard group has done. And personally, Paul and I were pages together at CBS no back shit. in 1994. So we history. have a deep, 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 long history. That's and awesome. I just remember being in that group of people, some really talented people in that group and thinking, all right, some of us are going to do some really amazing stuff. It, that made it the coolest job. And I had gone out of college and, you know, Broken Lizard was trying to get stuff going, yeah, but I, I needed a job and I had had terrible jobs. I worked at uh, behind the pen counter of a stationery store. I'd worked oh, at the Guggenheim as a, as a guard, like the worst museum guard in the world. Hilarious. And then when I landed on that, it was it's just so awesome because it not only was then a way to, to pay the bills, but it did feel like an incubator. Like there yeah. were like Creative 25 people. pages all yep. within a few years of being out of college, mm -hmm. all wanting to get in entertainment or TV or news right. or whatever. That's right. Uh, and going out together every night and... You know, and, fun, and riffing man. constantly and bullshitting constantly. And I, you know, I loved it. And we, I'm like, so every single ounce of success, when I see something like this, you have a new movie out. We're going to talk about it at the top of the second break. Quasi, we're going to talk about all of it. But I just am so proud of you and I'm psyched for you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. It's I'm amazed that. Uh, all these years later, <laughs> here we are still letting us make uh, stuff. Make if it's yeah. good, they'll let you make it. That's just the way it rolls. I think, business. yeah. And at this point, if it's cheap enough, yeah. If it's cheap, if it's good, good and cheap, it. what did our our cheap. uncle Eddie our uncle said. had a our uncle had a sign at his print shop. He said, 
You can get it good, good cheap, cheap, or fast. fast. Pick, pick two. two. <laughs> if it's yeah. good and cheap, it's not going to be fast. fast. If it's good yeah. and fast, it's not going to be cheap. If it's fast and cheap, it's not going to be good. Yeah. Pick two. Pick two. Uh, the other thing is wh- one thing that's sort of like a constant running through all your movies, and you guys play this. The you truth play is it so well. well. Dumb is such a running theme. The dumbness of mm-hmm. your characters, the idiocy of the cops and super troopers, the idiocy, the shenan- the idiocy <laughs> is like the uh, the charge. And it really off of there explodes everywhere into the stories. Yeah, and, so. and, and I think, um, but the key is then uh, it should be written smart yes. uh, to, to sound like oh, no. convincingly yeah. dumb. Like that's always the thing is people are like, oh, your movies are so dumb. I love it. They're dumb. And you're like, well, yes, the, the guys are, are the dumb. Guys we're are celebrating dumb. how The guys dumb are dumb. We're, are. we're perceptively dropping in these things. And that's what I feel like this show, why I think you're uniquely engineered and designed for this show because we get dumb stories sent to us by our fans and then mm-hmm. we try and figure out what happened we don't say that's dumb we say what happened yeah, we what, elevate, the ten, what were the 10 the decisions that led to it so jay mm-hmm. hop into a story right kyle. now this is was sent in by kyle spike spicer okay at tv kyle Been yeah for um, a while. Love spiker kyle. uh this okay I, i'm just gonna read the headline let's hear it and this is one of those headlines quote just the way i felt Woman who called nine one one over pink barbecue tells her side of the story. Wait, I love wait, it. call nine one one. Call nine one over pink, pink barbecue. barbecue. Tells, Is that a bad thing? Pink uh, barbecue. The barbecue meat was pink. She called nine one one. She only had one option, Paul. She had to call nine one. Now look, if you, oh this, my god, I if want my kids call nine one one every time there's pink inside this, my right. roast pork loin. <laughs> That's right. This would be this. I'm fine with this new that. rule, unless you are a child or you have mental health issues. If you are calling 911 just cuz you're pissed? Yeah, because you have to go to jail for a week. Right. You don't I agree that it. should be your now, thing. Now you do get a strike, maybe two strikes. But but on the third one, hey, that's just the deal. I, but no, Dan, Dan, when you call they should say are you sure you want to do this? They right. probably do. do you, she said what Give she was called for. Give them three chances on the vote. Are you this sure? is like the flop rule in sports. I don't like wanna, now they're penalizing players. Yeah. For, Whoa, Siri just told me that's not nice. They're, <laughs> they're penalizing people for flopping in right. soccer is, and in basketball. You can't do this, Paul. You can't just call 911 when you're pissed. Maybe not prison, but at least a week I of like community prison. service. Right. But that 911 operator was probably like checked off a board like yet another call for yeah. pink, mm-hmm. barbecue. pink barbecue. Like, barbecue oh my god if i had a nickel for, for everyone who complained calls. about pink barbecue on the tied up this line with a pink barbecue complaint yeah. uh new, wral news mm-hmm. uh, on friday spoke to the woman who ripped into a local barbecue restaurant for serving her pink wheat meat Ann Cook. So her name is Cook. That's funny. So maybe if she, your name is Cook, she feels like she knows a, more than most people. Like can Cook, she thinks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ann Can Cook said uh, she has had barbecue at other restaurants and it was never pink. So you're an expert, right? You're a food critic is what you're saying. Right. No, you've just had barbecue. Right. You're going to freak out with the name of this place. But right? we, okay. Where, yeah, go, go, go. Well, I was just going to say, I, it reminds me, it's been a while. If you guys have Asian ribs, Asian barbecue yeah. pork ribs, some of those are, are very pink. pink. Very pink. And wonderfully mm-hmm. delicious. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's how they're supposed to be. I so there's so. a tinge of racism in, what, in her. In yeah, what you're saying. I don't like the way that, okay. <laughs> or at least lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Yeah. Ignorance. All right. She's the, not an expert. The issue started, she said, when she returned to Clyde Cooper's Barbecue We've in been Raleigh, there. North Carolina. Have you been there? I've been oh, wait, there, too. North Carolina? Yeah. I've, I've there definitely with had you North guys. Carolina Barbecue. And I so think I was taken to kind of an iconic Clyde Cooper's place, so. is like an iconic, amazing. Dan, came with us when we shot our pilot for like the travel Like, they channel. don't, yes. they don't ever screw up there. Like, it it's, very everything is done with purpose there. My mouth is watering thinking about this. So here it is. The issue started, she said, when she returned to Clyde Cooper's Barbecue to either have the restaurant cook the barbecue longer, serve her something else off the menu, or give her a refund. Cook said none of these things happened after she, after she talked to the owner of the restaurant. We know the owner of the restaurant. The owner of the restaurant was a really nice Very woman. Very nice, knew her, knew her barbecue. Cook said she wrote the negative review because she felt the owner was being dismissive of her concerns, explaining that that's just the way I felt. That's the reason why I called the cops, because I couldn't get my money back or I couldn't get a different plan. I'm with you. She's got to go to jail for a week. <sighs> but that, that, that I think the key part is that's just the way I felt. Right. Like yes. We live in an age now where it is that's honor, the, honor the feelings. Right. doesn't matter if the barbecue is even pink or not, whether it was edible or not. Right. It's just it the way is, I felt. I felt 
not heard. I, I felt disrespected. She was, did not feel heard. So you have one option. And my feelings were as important as someone who may be in a car accident or yeah. a house fire. Oh, no, I need to be. A domestic dispute. I'm going to be heard by someone. My feelings are like, more I important than the these truth. Res- I deserve these right. resources. My and feelings are more important this. than the truth, Dan. Ann can't cook. <laughs> uh, can we, can't judge. Can we cook her? I don't think her... <laughs> I don't have a problem with them saying we are not going to reheat this right. or, or cook it longer. I, I don't have a problem with the business owner going, that's what we gave you. That's how we serve things. I think in that case, maybe give somebody a refund. Like, I don't think Dan, her requests Dan. are crazy to say, could you either give me something else or cook this longer or give me a refund? I don't think that's crazy. I also think, you know, Illinois, especially Wisconsin, you go to a lot of like bars and restaurants where they just like, we're not serving Canadian club whiskey today. And you can see it's on there. They're just not doing that that day. What so if they like, said, we'll do, what if, what if the, the restaurant said, she said, we'll do this, but you can never ask for this ever again. This is the one time we'll do this. Fine. How I'm about gonna, they say, we'll give you a free meal. All you can eat. We'll cook this till it's dark, dark brown. Great. You have to stand up in front of everyone and say, I'm an idiot. Right. <laughs> you have to say that. Or offer her, a, he gives her, a, a, I'll give you a free lemonade. And she says, this lemonade is pink. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> be yellow. I want nothing pink. pink. Lemonade. <laughs> Debbie Holt, the owner of Clyde Cooper's Barbecue. She was the best. Remember Debbie her? Holt. Debbie Holt. Debbie so Holt nice. with the big hair. She said, uh, she did offer the cuff customer a different meal, but cook refused. Fuse. Okay. okay, so see, see, she's see, like, so I'll give you some different requests. Were because not. every restaurant in the world is like, fine, I'll just just customers always right. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, like, nobody says no. I'm Her, not gonna. That's like, why I, 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 this is an interesting development because the requests were fine with me, and obviously it's, uh, Debbie agreed. Right. We're not going to do any of those three things, but we'll offer you a different so what, meal. So when that well, happened, that was one of them. She Cook, said something Cook was given a piece of chicken in a brown paper bag. Mm-hmm. And not the full chicken right plate now. she expected. Okay. So now she's expecting something else that she didn't get. Cook told Doug. Well, she got sides with her meat. So she already has those sides. She doesn't need a whole nother plate. She wanted a yeah, different meat. Hey, she were got the mashed potatoes meat. too pink, guys? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what happened? That's right, Dan. You're so right. The other things weren't pink. She already so got the other thing. The sides are fine. Cook told WARL News on Friday that she is considering filing a civil lawsuit. What? Good I luck. Hope you, Go for it. Honestly, I hope you lose everything you own. Do you guys find that you guess you start getting a little hot when you yes, lose? Yes, I'm like, angry. Like, it's okay like, to be angry. It's why I don't go to Yelp anymore because <laughs> every review is some version of this story. That's Nobody actually is rating the quality no. of the food. It is, it is about how everybody, like felt somehow disrespected slighted there. Yeah, but slighted one of your so. comedy partners the app vouch vault that's yeah, a place yeah, yeah. where you can go where it's just so going to be vouch positivity vault is like it's, yeah they, yeah it's exactly. like the it's like the antidote to yelp because yeah. vouch vault is people what do you, you love know and trust what do you, what love? Do you love and what do you love right and why do you love it like again the things we love in this world like we have restaurants anytime anybody goes to chicago i'm like you got to go to dove's luncheonette you have I'm to. i'm going to chicago twice in the next month you got to go to dove's you luncheonette gotta go to, you have to go to ever Dove's it's my buddy's ever. restaurant. Okay. We'll, Aren't they we'll, the yeah. same? Ever and Dove's Luncheonette are the same owners, I believe. No, yeah. no, no, no different, okay. different. That's different, his different. buddy. Ever and Dove's Luncheonette. So is, I'm just going to say as a sidebar, and it's, 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 we just got back from Austin, a great food yeah, town. Phenomenal. Great. And it is, I love nothing more. Uh, we had a recommendation from my, my brother-in-law. Yeah. I knew these guys who opened a restaurant. Mm-hmm. There's nothing better than going to a, a restaurant and they hook you up. And oh, it's, oh it's my God. A re- I'm you sure know that somebody. You guys oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the Frickin best. The best. best dinner. So great. What was the place in Austin? It's called me? Ember. And it's new, and it's a uh, Latin-flavored steakhouse. Oh, oh dude. So, is it downtown or near downtown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, uh, off of... We're going to uh, be there this weekend when this drops. When this drops, we'll be there that very that oh, weekend. Oh, so we're going, we're I going will, Amber. I will, I will call because of the call, nicest call. guys. Let them know we're coming. And Wagyu strip steak and prime oh, yeah, rib. Yeah, and stop, I, I mean, I, I, we I'm could so go hungry this. right I know, now. This, this turned out to be a very... Why didn't I eat before this thing? God damn you, Paul Sutter. I'm going to call 911 on your ass for this. How dare you? This is justice that you'll like. Clyde Cooper. Coopers is seeing an influx of customers since the incident. Good. Yes. yes. The, restaurant, You're idiotic. the restaurant posted on Facebook on Friday thanking people for the pink barbecue love after Cook's criticism. That's right. Holt That's said right. Cook didn't understand that it's normal for the restaurant to cook pork barbecue that way. You, you said, said it. You said it. She took a screenshot of the review, which has since been deleted, and posted it on social media. Ha! I'm going to use your shit against you, and it's going to make me money. So Go this Debbie is why Holt. I love Debbie Holt. She's like, she's an innovator. And she took the thing that she yeah. jujitsued the review. Sure. Yeah. This is it. Unless, you know, 
in the in today's day of everything is a conspiracy, some might say, but was Debbie in, <laughs> in on it? Was she part of Holt's Hulk? plan? Either way, right. she's part of the Holt. The whole That's my thing. favorite Drake song, by the way. Holt's part plan. of Holt's plan. Holt's, Holt's plan. plan. Holt's plan. Holt's plan. Cook eventually see. called 911. Okay, I have a 14 year old son. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cook eventually <laughs> called 911 after leaving the restaurant. Holt said before the 911 call, Holt tried to explain several times to, dis- to the disgruntled customer why the meat was pink. Right. Even other customers tried to chime in. You know, that was a good moment. <laughs> you know, You're <laughs> tall from the over at the Counters just like, some guy, some guy, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. guy over here is People like, I'm gonna, waiting for 20 minutes to pick up their spare ribs. Sure. Like me and Paul just said, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say oh, something to this lady. Okay. I'm going to say it. For one I'm going to say it. Should I say something? Please I'm going to say, say something. Okay. It's supposed to be pink. <laughs> and, uh-huh. and Good. Just, no, she didn't hear you. You got to go over it's and tell suppo- her. It's supposed... All right. She said, uh, <laughs> even other customers tried to chime in. I kind of snickered a little bit and told her, honey. The honey was the like, hun- this is why she called my pejorative. Own. Honey is like, <laughs> listen, sweetheart. Honey, that's when the barbecue is smoked. It turns pink. And right. she was insistent it wasn't done. Holt said she offered to bring another meal, white meat chicken, because obviously this is a white racist. Mm-hmm. Uh, she <laughs> said Cook did not make a fuss, then left and dialed 911. Okay. So she did not make a fuss when she received her chicken, Daniel. Mm. She walked out the door. She did an about face in her character. I think and she it's called 911. in these instances, and Paul, tell me if you feel this way. If some, if the place makes a gesture of acknowledgement that like, sure. we'll give you a check, even if it's um, not the best check, it's, attempt. that's right. That to me is like, if this, if the restaurant's like, no, we're not going to do this. This isn't what we you do. You can walk away and say, I'm going to tell everyone I know, don't go to this restaurant. But like or, they made the gesture to give her another meal. You have to accept that as them saying, look, we understand. Even if we disagree with you, maybe it's not to your liking. Maybe it's not to your liking. We're going to do this for you because sure. we're nice. And she couldn't handle it. Imagine it's, the dispatcher. Imagine like, this ma'am. woman's husband who has to, is like, he, he probably is like through this whole thing. See, do you see what I have to you deal assume with? She's not legally separated. Maybe she's the like, husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Just a little, she's in a uh, there is a, yeah, there's a very like smug ex-husband right now being like, mm-hmm. I told have you. I been telling you? Have I not <laughs> been telling you? <laughs> He's been you. telling her. He's been telling us. He's been telling us for I years. Mean, I just needed the rest of the public to understand. He said it. Oh. He said it last year. Oh, he said she I won't do this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I had ordered some food from there and the barbecue is pink. The woman told 911. I asked for either for them to cook it some more or exchange my order. The, if you're a 911 you hang up right there. You, you hang you up. You interrupt this mm-hmm. woman. Well, first you say, is this person up. having a stroke on the air? Yes. Or, like, on the sure. call? Is this person sure. ha- having a psychotic break? Sure. I asked that for might them be caring. Yeah, right. to cook it some more or exchange my order. They said they're saying the meat is supposed to be pink. I asked them to change my order and they said they're not giving me my money back and they're not going to trade out the food. Holt said that after... Uh, she called 911. Police arrived. So why would the police come, Dan? So now we're they in a have st- to. They have to come if you call 911? Yes. Okay. Yes. No, but that's good. You know, we're writing Super Troopers 3. And so, so th- that's, you please know. Rip I mean, this please you know, write a pink barbecue rip scene Rip from in the it. headlines. Rip from the work, headlines. Work for Law and Order. For and have us years. be the guys who are complaining <laughs> about just twin <laughs> brothers complaining the meat is, is it's pink, too pink. And someone it's has to pink. explain to it's us that it's pink. And then it turns into an eating contest between us and the cops. If we can out eat them, then we win. Right. There right. you go. Pitch. Boom. Pitch. Uh, when the cops came through, he had a cute little smile on his face and rolled his eyes and his arms were folded. I bet he came down because he wanted to see Is that in there? Yeah. Holt said, I don't even think he said much to me except, I got you. I got, yeah. The cop is like, he I wanted to come down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I fired <laughs> six bullets in the, <laughs> into her back. Okay. Right. The beef, <laughs> the beef didn't stop there. Uh. Cook left a one star review on Google and a photo of the barbecue plate. She also complained the cheese in her mac and cheese was not melted. It was five hours ago before you yeah, started arguing. I can you, attest that that yeah. mac and cheese is very good. It's, it's so good. We ate it. And the so, so this is a good. This is a side drive. Five, talking about five-hour-old mac and cheese. We, uh, I said, we just got back from Austin, and, and now that we're when you're promoting something for the studio, you fly first class. I never yeah. fly first class. Never. Yeah. But the plane was delayed five and a half hours, and so <sighs> then when we finally went wheels up, the first class stewardess came by and said, to everybody you would normally have a meal, but the meal has now been sitting here mm-hmm. for five mm-hmm. and a half hours. And you're like, I'll eat it. She said, I don't feel comfortable serving it. And I was like, well, uh, how about if out. I have a look? She said, I don't, I don't feel comfortable. And, and, and I just couldn't, it couldn't get, get her, her to bring it to me. She wouldn't bring it to me because I was 
of course, would have eaten. You would have eaten in five hour old meat. Thank you. Also, this, this, is this is not a first class stomach. This is not a first class. I'm sitting no in first class. I have stomach. a I have a coach stomach that's sitting up here, and I'll eat five <laughs> hour old meatballs. You know meatballs. the amount of room temperature food I've eaten in my life, <laughs> Dan, Dan. Five hour meatballs. That's, yeah. that's, that's a lot of energy. They're probably that's used to a clientele like Dan Cook, though. They're probably used to a clientele that's freaking cooked. Are you ready for my? I would have looked at him like I wish you wouldn't have told me. Don't even tell me. Who would have? Dan. Uh, my kids ate, my daughter ate mac and cheese and then put it in the sink, but nothing had touched it. And about Proudy. an hour and a half later, I went by the sink sure. with her spoon. Yes. It like it, right it had up. been sitting in the sink. That's right. Doesn't in a matter. bowl. Doesn't matter. In a bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just in the, it had been discarded. You're not going stainless I gave, steel. No, stop. I no. gave my daughter <laughs> leftovers for lunch that next day and then the lunch that sat in her room for an entire day yes. not in a refrigerator and then I was taking it out and I'm like I can't throw this away Why and I you? ate it a day late that's where I am yeah so five hour five oh, hours have eaten that you would have five hour five meatballs yeah. I'll eat no, it same thing kids come home from school they have not it's touched been sitting the lunch. in the sun yeah, in the sun I'll, and, eat a and, and I'll eat a nugget I'll eat a nugget and even like a like a I kind of like an old PB and J that's had about five sure. hours. It's, it's softer. Yeah, it's yeah, softer. Are you yeah. saying to decant? <laughs> I want my I want my jelly decanted. I want it out. So in the what corners. we're saying to you is you made a mistake by not calling nine one one on this one. Well. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a statute of limitations? Yeah. What is? Yeah. It? I would I would <laughs> well, guess not, Miss Cook. Says not for no. Ann Cook. There yeah. isn't. This is it. She also complained the cheese in her mac and cheese was not melted. But Clyde Cooper's explained that this is a special smoked cheddar that adds flavor. Holt said so. She has no heart feelings though tell her to come back and i'll educate her about north carolina <laughs> southeast twin style barbecue Holt i said, love her so i'd much. be happy to i'll educate her is like the most talking down yeah. to someone and then the us. article said this as if to give one last stick stick to, of the one well, fork, fork one in the fork, back yeah. of this woman uh -huh. the last health inspection for clyde cooper's barbecue showed the restaurant had a 96.5 which is an a grade yeah. there you go take that i should, probably should have made you guess what the grade oh. number was oh, yeah. we would have so gotten it but <laughs> This, I got this, news for you. That's just the way it goes. That's the way the the that's the, the way the crumbles. pork. That's um, the way the pork gets pinked. But all you right? talk about your, you know, your travel show. I I would watch a show where you guys, an episode would be you take Anne back uh -huh. for that. You know that that okay. We're gonna settle this. We're gonna explain this sure. to you. We're so gonna, we. I love oh, that you said I, that. I mean, no, no, no. Right. Another friend of ours was p trying to pitch a show with us hosting, like Yelp Justice, where you give, really and I, you, you find the people who gave a horrible review, yes. and then you, you bring them, them back, and then you try and educate and in a funny way. And I wanted to call the show Yelp Wanted. All right, we put it out there in the world. Nobody take that idea um, from us. Paul Soder is here. He's got a new movie called Quasi. I can't wait. It comes out in two days from when this drops. We're gonna talk all about it after the break. It's Dumb People Town. Don't go anywhere. Townies, we got a sponsor we want to talk to you about. It is Maeve, and Ran is in love with them. I love Maeve so much. I because started, your dog loves it so much. So Ponyo, little Ponyo loves Maeve so much. I started feeding it for her. It's a it com, It's amazing food that is just... It's raw. It's, it's raw food. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the fact that it's frozen is a good thing that I spoke to the Maeve people about because it helps clean little Ponyo's teeth. Hey. She, she loves crunching on those things, <laughs> and it's fantastic. And I feel like I'm spoiling my dog here. I'm giving my dog great... Great food to eat, and yeah. you're taking care of her. That's I'm taking the other part care of, of her. I feel good about it. I also, I have a doggy that I have to watch her weight. I have to be careful. Sure. I don't want her to get too fat. I don't want her to eat things that are low in protein and high in carbohydrates. The Mave diet is so much better for the dog, and I feel like okay, I'm doing a good thing for her, and I'm going to keep the vet bills down. So nice. Mave, Mave supports benefits you can smell, feel, and see for better breath, reduced itching, shedding, all those regular bowel movements we need, and maintaining a healthy weight. Like Randy just said, I most dog. It. Parents see results in 28 days or less. Plus, there's no mess, no prep, no thawing, no thawing at all. Just open, pour, and serve. It is that easy. So right now, guys, you can make the switch to raw today. Right now, Mave is offering $40 off your first order at meetmave.com slash DPT. So you're going to want to go to meetmave.com slash DPT. And it's spelled M-E-E-T. M-A-E-V to receive $40 off your first order. That's meet Maeve, M-A-E-V dot com slash D-P-T. Best dog food I've ever, ever given my dog. 
Townies, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. And we are therapy people. We yeah. all have benefited so much from therapy. This is not just you going through a crisis. This is a way oh, no. to deepen your self-awareness. This is a way to understand who you are. A lot of times we can say these things to our friends, but they are not impartial. It's not the same thing. It's a way to de-stressify. Mm-hmm. Is that a word? Uh, some of your relationships by actually speaking to a professional talking person. talking about help. self-discovery. You're sure. talking about working through some hard things. Yeah. And so we believe in it. Or just everyday stress. Stress. Yes. Yeah. We, I yeah. mean, and certainly in our world, stress is piled up and it's all over the place. And better help is the way if you're thinking about starting therapy. Yeah. Give better help a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible and suited to your schedule. Now, here's what you're going to do, Townies. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash DPT mm-hmm. today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com. Slash DPT. Hey, Townies, are you looking for the perfect gift for mom or another loved one? Well, we've got the answer for you. You guys do have the answer. I love this thing so much. We got this gift for our mom a few years back, and it has been the greatest gift ever. I sure. just celebrated. We just celebrated Amy's birthday recently. And what I, do you do? Every time you're out, you take a great picture of kids. I send it to mom, and I send it to the skylight frame. I love skylight frames. So it's a very beautiful little picture frame. It's not that little, actually. It sits on yeah. mom's right next a to couple, her couch. There's two different size options. Yeah. Two yep. sizes sits right next to our mom's couch. She gets a little ding when she hears that a new pi- picture is entered. Send new the pictures whenever we do something, and then it just rotates the pictures in. It hooks in with her Wi-Fi. It's so easy. It's so easy to set up. Our mom could deal with it, and our and she was able to like manage it and go through it. It's very simple. Once you set it up once, it just rolls forever wherever you are. Whenever you take a good picture, you send it to that person. It's a great People way to stay it. connected. Your mom loves it. She lives in St. Louis. We're in L.A., and she feels so connected. Best to us. Mother's Day gift we've ever. Gotten ever gotten guys so be like the scars the skylight digital photo frame is a sweet and meaningful gift that will give you a new way to stay in touch with those you love it's so simple and fun to use as they said even if you're not tech savvy as i just said no app or subscription required to send photos at any time from anywhere it's a great way to feel close to those you love even when you're far away so and that's what, say you, that's this. what you guys love it if yeah. you love your mom and i we know that you do or, or if you have another loved one that you want to send this to as well yeah. so what we're going to say is right now a special as a special mother day mother's day offer get 10 percent off that's up to 30 dollars off your mm-hmm. frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash dpt to get 10 percent off up to 30 dollars off your purchase of a skylight frame just go to skylightframe.com slash dpt that's s-k-y-l-i-g-h-t-f-r-a-m-e.com slash d-p-t Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Before we get into the second story, before we get into the movie and all that stuff, this is the 18th when this thing drops Mm -hmm. of April. Uh, This week, we are going to be at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. We're going to be in Austin at one of the best comedy festivals ever. Dan is doing The Living Wake of Big J. Okerson. A whole bunch of stand-up sets. A bunch of stand-up sets. We are doing Tag It, which is our show where comedians do stand-up and Randy and I sit on the side and write extra tags for jokes. And then we come up in between and pitch them the jokes. We did it for your buddy Jay Shandersekar. He did it. He had a joke about he's like the worst cow in the world would be a ghost, ghost cow, cow on a farm because it would walk around and say boo boo and everyone would be like no it's supposed to be moo and he's moo. like titters weird laughs he's like what do I do with that joke and so I came up and I said look I know that joke is a little weird but and I really want to get rid of it but I'm Indian and it's a joke about a cow and I just can't kill it all right so he loved that and yeah, used that it. to the joke so we write tags we tag your wow. comedy and then we came on stage. And we pitch them to you, tag it, and then we are doing a live Dumb People we Town are. this very and we've podcast. Got a green this podcast. And we've, we've got, got a green lead, but our guests are things. Dulce Sloan and uh, from Natalie Palomides. It's going to be so much fun. Mm-hmm. So, Moon Tower, we'll see you there. And then in uh, in May, we're going to be uh, in Minneapolis at the Acme Comedy Company, nice. which is so Great good. Uh, and then we have other dates in the fall, but yeah. uh, Daniel at Daniel. Yeah, then, yeah the next weekend, uh, the, the last Denver. weekend of April, I'll be in Denver. And then my show here in LA at the Cats Crawl every other Monday with uh, myself. And Irene, too. All right, Paul, let's, let's talk, talk about Quasi. I'm so psyched for you. I mean, Jay was telling us about this movie months ago, yeah. and it's finally here. You're getting a little theatrical release? Are you doing, or what's it's, the deal? No, straight to Hulu. Straight to Hulu, awesome. great. Awesome. Honestly, the, I'm realizing now, you know, we've never done that before. Yeah. And, and it's a cool thing, because really, I mean... It's an event. The old way of, of thinking is always, you know, well, theatrical is, you know, premium, and, yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. streaming is, is somehow less Not than... Not anymore. Not anymore. You know, not anymore. And also that was always, you know, fans came up to us and most of them 
were consuming our stuff at home after seeing it on cable on their right. yeah on their couches with their buddies or in, a, DVD in this kind or of like communal that. environment there might be a bong uh, maybe uh, there might so be a bong to us it feels like we're cutting out the middleman which mm-hmm. is kind of cool mm-hmm. but then also um we're out promoting now and it's, it's always the most fun part of the project because yeah. like i said i was in austin we did an anaheim ducks game so and great. it's always so much fun but any time in the past, it's building towards a theatrical release. And so there's still always a pit in your stomach. Like, what like, if people don't go out? What well, if there's you know, a problem? Yeah, what like, if the weather sucks? The, the box office number on yeah, Monday yeah. And, and everyone's going to read Variety. And da, 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 da. and with streaming, yeah. I mean, obviously, we, we want people to see it. Of and Hulu, Hulu will be psyched if a lot of people come see it. And but it's will. nice to be able to go promote and not always still also be really nervous. So but it's also, break it down in one paragraph. What are people going to see when they see this movie? It's the Broken Lizards tribute to Monty Python and Mel Brooks. So it's the it. first time that we've done something historical. It's the first it. time we've done something with like costumes mm-hmm. and, 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 and period uh, piece, period piece comedy. And it, cause that's what we were raised on. Yeah. Sure. And this was really written. This is one of the things that we wrote really not long after we knew each other mm-hmm. and we were still doing sketch comedy. Mm-hmm. And so the stuff that we were writing was very much like our sketch routines with That's costumes right. and silliness and absurd accents. And when Super Troopers 2 came out, the studio said, all right, well, what, what else do you have? What they do you want to do? You got to always say, this is a lesson to anyone who's always. getting this. You always got to have a something else when they ask you, what else do you have? Yeah, when something comes out, you have to have, have something Have another ready. thing in the shoot. And... Uh, this was just one that we had always gone back and reworked and revisited because we loved it, but we really didn't think it was going to get made because it's so off brand mm-hmm, for us. Mm-hmm. And amazingly, search I was like, no, oh, it's hilarious. Let's 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 do it. We want it. we need to start making some movies for Hulu, and you know we wouldn't do this theatrically, but yeah, that's perfect for for Hulu. And we were like, you really want to make this? Uh, let's and do it. So it became this like dream come true for us because it's it. we're playing multiple characters. Everything is over mm-hmm, the top, and mm-hmm. again, accents and. It's just the kind of thing we didn't think we'd ever get to do. Um, and it hasn't so. been made since Python. Like, you think about it, and those movies did great. People yeah. have, like us, have memories of those. And yeah. we came even a little after those movies came out, but they still affected us. But I haven't, I don't, I can't it's think great. of a I movie mean, that's come out like that since then. They've done the new history of the, the world, world, which I haven't two. seen, sure, yeah. which definitely uh, is in that, is in that vein, same, yeah. same world. Um, so it's quasi, so it's a story of Quasimodo, a, 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 a hunchback story set in 13th century France. And he gets caught up in this political intrigue between the king of France and the pope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And each of them pulls him aside and commands that he assassinate the other. I love and it. so he's like, <laughs> wait a minute, if, if, the, if I don't murder the pope, then the king will uh, sentence me to death. He's if I don't, between a king and a pope. He's, yeah, the classic king and a pope, rock and a hard mean, place. I mean, it's a rock and the hard place. And the Which Pope's is gonna, the rock in that situation? Yeah. Who's hard? Mm-hmm. I'm the hard place. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's like my, my nickname. I love it. So it comes out April uh, 18th on Hulu. Watch it. Uh, you can watch it at one in the morning. Four twentieth, yeah, four twenty. Four twenty. Four twenty. Oh, we're dropping on the eighteenth. Four twenty. Perfect idea. Yep. That's All right, the big so number. Four twenty. You know what to do. You know, you know, how know what to, watch to do. This. You, you know, know how to prepare to watch this. Right. Right. We're giving you all the breadcrumbs. Guys, here. we're leaving. You know. yeah. We're leaving you all the resins. And then so here's just, the best part: watch it the first night, and then watch it the next three nights again and again on Hulu because then you catch all the jokes you missed. All those jokes you didn't hear because you were laughing and your buddies were laughing. It got so loud. Yeah. I love it. Are you guys ready? Should we jump in this story? Congratulations. Trigger warning for everyone right now. Stop eating if you're listening to this. Oh, Don't another gross. food one? Oh, yeah. Here okay. we go. Because in this one, you could have called 911. I just, just because. Please. Okay. I'll be the judge of that. This was sent in by Carlene Mac- McDermott at She Be Carlene, one of our favorite people who sends in stories. Big here time we go. contributor. Huge. All right, here we go. Here's the headline. Okay. Airline claims cockroach, and this was in parentheses, so I'm like, was it a cockroach? Yeah. Found in in-flight meal was actually sautéed ginger. You could have had that in first class. So now they're sauteed fighting you. ginger? Now yes, they're telling it was you. moving around. Yes, we had trouble killing it. That yes. is sautéed Yes, it ginger. had legs. That is sautéed ginger. <laughs> My fear when you said Doesn't that your saute you ginger have... somebody fell asleep on a plane and a cockroach went nope. in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Now in some, done that, I think. Now in some cultures... 
this would be considered a delicacy. Sure. Jay and I have eaten bugs. Be respectful. I eat crickets. Yeah. What's the problem here? Grasshopper bar. Chopolinus. What did they say? Chopolinus. Chop chopolinus. What did they saute the, the cockroach in? That's my question. You don't saute a cockroach in ginger. Let me just say that right off the bat. That, Escargo? It loses all of its natural juices. What is she, ignorant? Yeah, garlic butter would be a Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. An airline has claimed that a passenger thought, uh, well, what a passenger thought was a cockroach on the in-flight meals was actually a piece of sauteed ginger. So this is full on the world we live in right now that is a cockroach no it's not right. it's ginger i hate when this ha- this happened to me at a bar here in la where i was like a month of burger i don't want the onions on the, like grilled onions on the burger they bring it out there's I'm grilled like, onions and they're like no there's not and i'm like yes there is. i'm looking at it you think i brought grilled onions what, just to put it on four and a half yeah mm-hmm. like no. there's onions i'm like no 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 you're all good and you're just, not you're all good. good you're good we're not all no, good. good no and i just was like <laughs> This is a cockroach. Yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good. good. Okay. I was so caught off guard. Yeah, like, you're like, what? Are you? What a stance. No, I mean, it's that, such uh, an unbelievable. This gaslighting. That is the uh, that is the definition of gaslighting. It's cockroach lighting. All right. <laughs> Traveler Nikul Solanki took a picture of the debated find on his flight okay. from Mumbai to Bangkok on the 31st of August, sharing it on social media in the middle of October. So okay. you don't order a meal on Spirit Air. Tweeting a photo of an in-flight meal and a zoomed-in shot of what looks like some kind of bug in a rice dish. He posted it with the caption, small cockroach in Air Vistara meal. So he's calling them out. Yeah. He's calling them out. Not on Air Vistara. But the carrier disagreed with his assessment, saying the meal had uh, been analyzed in a lab. They analyzed in a lab? Was it, I mean, was the lab in Wuhan? I'm, I, who knows? Classic airline red tape move, by the way, too. It's been analyzed in a lab. So you're not saying it isn't. You're saying it's been analyzed but in a lab. But they're saying we, after you complained and we told you it was ginger on the flight. Right. We also then went ahead and sent it to a lab. Just to yeah, see, you know, it could have been make rice. sure that the ginger is sent the picture to a lab and they did yeah. an enhance. <laughs> they did like, like a, yeah, like a photo, lab. A, photo <laughs> lab, photo lab, a photo. Lab. Yeah, right. So, Mr. Solanke, you know, uh, all those planes where everything has to be put away or thrown away or closed, latched, yeah, locked. It's like down, a boat, right? It's like to a go. boat. They were like, leave that food out because it's definitely ginger, but. We want that to be analyzed Take it to the lab. later. Yeah. Just Take to it to the sure. lab so like we just, know that right. it is. Fuck the black box. And We've by the way, more important things. Listen, way more. <laughs> listen to You're how. You're hold that plate the whole landing? Yeah. We listen to how they come in hot, the airline's response. Quote, we'd like to clear the air. I mean, we don't come need on. that pun. We don't need that pun. Regard- That's the tagline of the airlines. Right. We'd like, to clear, we'd like the air. to clear the air. Hey, what's the name of the airlines? We'd like to clear the air. Uh, regarding the meal that was served to you on your flight with us dated uh, 31st of August from Mumbai to Bangkok. You know they were asking like all those kinds of questions that they, like they know they're screwed. Like the, all the questions they're asking. The sample was sent to a laboratory and thoroughly tested. Based on the reports, we can confirm that no foreign object slash insect was found in the particular meal sample. So Sounds like you can't confirm it's ginger. Right. Also, like if you just have the results, like who's going to argue? Oh, we sent also, it to a the lab. Also, wouldn't the results be like, taste this? Tell me if that's ginger. Right. The object in yep. question evaluated nope. under, the micro, under a microscope and was found to be a piece of sauteed ginger. Is that their version of being like, we used real science? We put it under a microscope. What lab did you send it to? Burger Lab? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> that burger Lab of Mumbai. <laughs> that's right, the Burger Lab of Mumbai. <laughs> that doesn't feel scientific enough. The message finished, we here at Vistara leave no stone unturned in ensuring that the highest standards of safety and services are upheld. They're going to fuck it. They're going to lie to you is what they're going to yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, an unconvinced Mr. Solanke demanded proof commenting airlines write without evidence. Uh, please attach original lab report, ginger or cockroach. So th- he's now demanding. At a certain point, though, you are going, you're the hero who eventually is going to become a villain. Like, let it go. Yeah. Like right. you've also, you're like, like your kids are like, dad, dad. Stop. We've been stop. Come to bed, month. honey. Come to bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't. That's the thing. I can't. They it's want the me to come. Yeah, that's exactly what you And mean. I get it. It always is the principle, but sometimes you got to let the principle that's go. That's right. Yeah. You got to accept your loss and move on. All right. right. Do you yeah. have the p- picture? Uh, I don't know if I have it in here, but I, I, mean, I will find it. It must look like a bug, I, right? It was. Uh, right. A Vistara spokesperson told the Independent, we came across a tweet by a passenger complaining about a meal served him. So there, by the way, is probably a, di- a division of people at Vistara who are like, look, we know there's going to be some fucking bugs in the thing, right? It Let's happens. just make sure that no one's tweeting about it. And if it is, they're like, we got to get on this guy. We'll send it to the lab, which is over at Jerry's house. Right. And then <laughs> the social media intern has one job. Look <laughs> for on. tweets about, right. bugs. about bugs. About bugs in a 
Google, meal. you search these two keywords. <laughs> Vistara. Vistara, 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 cockroach, Vistara, cockroach. Right. The meal samples in the laboratory thoroughly checked under digital stereo microscope. Is that a thing? A that's stereo be, microscope. Digital stereo microscope to me sounds like that's it not It probably real. is a thing, and we're dumb, but I have that no idea. That sounds like what a six year is that a cockroach? Oh, that's the photo in question. That looks like a cockroach, right? I don't know. Yeah, it is very... We already shared these findings with the customer via email on uh, September 14th. We at Vistara lay utmost importance in maintaining stringent photo. standards of safety, so all our processes are aligned towards the same. It's not the first oh, time a passenger up, has complained about finding something unsavory in their in. They said flight. that about themselves? No, this is the news oh, article. Gee, I thought there was That's, still... That was the statement from <laughs> the No, no, it's not a statement. Idiots. Appreciate your honesty. Hey, and everybody else was honesty, real cool. So, everybody else was fucking yeah, cool. I, I'm going to admit that I don't know what this is. Jay? I'm going to admit that right. Jay, it could I'm, be ginger. It could be shrimp. I'm going to say Why this. does everyone who needs to take an important photo, whether it's... I know this is an old joke. like shrimp. Bigfoot or this, it's... Too blurry. Always blurry. Too blurry. Dan, I think they took it from further away, and this is a zoomed in shot. Right, okay. okay. Uh, in 2019, this is not going to help their case out. All right, Paul. In 2019, a passenger on a Mumbai bound flight from uh, Bhopal discovered a large cockroach in, cockroach in his breakfast on board an Air India flight. I informed Air India crew, but they ignored me. Let me, can I ask? But you he, in three? his def in the airline's defense, he did order a bowl of rochios, <laughs> which you can't, it's, have, they're part of it. They're like raisins. Anything you didn't get enough. <laughs> they're the little, <laughs> then he's like, I only scoops. have three. I should have eight in this bowl. Uh, I You're find the, the, the testimony of they ignored me just to be unbelievable. Like yeah. they, what? They just kept walking past sir, me. Sir, kept, sir, sir. pressing the button. The ding, 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 ding. They, nope, nope. nope. they would come over. They would undo the button. They're like, la, la, la. Them undoing the button and then keep walking is. But most, that's a power that's move. Power. <laughs> Play. That's a ro ding, ding, ding. No, no, yeah, keep, keep going. going. <laughs> I've got people. Because all they have to do is look at you and go, what would you like me to say you did when yeah. you so land? Since, like, the crew, since the crew members were not listening, I returned it to them. I even objected to their serving food to others, but to no avail. So uh -huh. now this person is trying like, to protect the plane. Right. Uh, the airline subsequently issued an apology saying in a statement, we sincerely apologize for the incident where our valued passenger had a disappointing experience with the meal served aboard our Bhopal Mumbai flight. flight. Air India always endeavors to ensure our passengers enjoy our services. We have taken serious, a serious note of the incident and immediately issued a strong notice to the caterer concerned, which, by the way, doesn't even seem like you should be like, we're switching caterers, right? right. Even if you aren't. Yeah, sure. Or, and, how or how about here's a $500 This is my question for the three of Shut you. The fuck You're up. on a flight with a, <laughs> with a right. meal and there's a cockroach in your food. Uh -huh. What is the easiest way for it to be made right for you? Fight. Give me, give me a free flight. Free somewhere. flight. Free, free, free flight. It has obvious. to be domestic, international, uh, domestic. I mean, five hundred dollar value. Per, you're saying if they were like, oh my god, we are so, so sorry. sorry. Here's a free flight. We don't know what this what is. What if they were like, let me get you another meal? You would still feel like free it run. wasn't made no, up to I you. No, I would not eat. You would not want to eat. I would need another thing on that flight okay. from them. What if they were like, if you were a loyalty person, they're like, we're gonna give you twenty thousand miles. No. I mean, that's Free a flight. flight. So like, this, was, this was exactly what happened. I, I hate to keep going back to my Delta flight last mm -hmm. night. Please. Don't it's worry all still about fresh. It's still yes. fresh. Yeah, yeah, no, you see, that's, that's what that this show is for. Was <laughs> ultimately, uh, she went around and s told everybody um, because cockroach. we can't have a, we can't have a meal. Uh, um, well, I don't want to serve you the meal that's been mm -hmm. sitting for five hours. I'll, and Paul you'll was get, like, I'll take it. You'll get, I think it was a voucher. Tw it was tw like 20. 2,500? No, no. What's that a good... Right. 20, you know, 2,500 uh, yeah. Sky Miles? That, yeah. That but I, didn't be, have that a, I don't have a Delta Sky Miles account. And then gotcha. I'm like, okay, do I say that? Like, yes. At you, that point, and you, then I'm like, well, you what? You get up and guy? you say, everyone on this plane, I have an announcement. I do not have a Delta Sky Miles account. Let's figure out how she can compensate. Right. Yeah, how do we make, I am willing. I'm still make, willing right. to eat the tilapia. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> willing. Right, right, how right, right, do we right. make this? How right. can I get this woman to serve me the room temperature right. tilapia? Let's get yeah, a the group. The poke bowl that was sitting <laughs> for five. Poke hours. bowl, which is now no. smoking. Yeah. So there you yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, they could just give you a voucher. No. Just I like. I'd be like, can I just get a fifty dollar yeah, voucher? I don't know. Anyway, so cockroach or ginger, it could be a new a new thing. It's like who's the asshole? Cockroach. Ginger could be a new category. It's like blocker charge. Blocker charge. Blocker when charge. I was a kid, my we opened a, a bag of frozen vegetables because when we were kids, nobody ate fresh vegetables. No, no, never. Frozen frozen. Or in a can. Everything. And there was a spark plug in our bag of Shut. probably like bird's eye <laughs> mixed vegetables. And now I think about boy, if this was <laughs> happened now, like. 
we're in the money. We're gonna. Yeah, you know, we're gonna yeah, I can't wait. What'd you do? You, for, you just threw it away and made no, the vegetables. You used it in your yeah, car. Back then, it, we, it was you like put fantastic. it in your car. See if that works. Yeah, put, yeah, put it in the Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> put it in the Volkswagen and let it roll. All right, there you go. That's story number two. Daniel, give us a little taste of what we're gonna hear in segment number three. Big company, dumb move. Big company, dumb move. Paul Soder is our guest. The movie Quasi comes out 420, in 420, bro. 420, bro. You can watch it on Hulu. It's gonna be great. We'll be right back with more dumb people town right after this. Stick around, make a sound, there's more Dumb People Town. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, Daniel, take us home, all right? All right, here we go. Yes. Sent in by Brew Pounder at Brew Pounder. Nice. What is know? what it is. But they, you think that guy pounds brew if he's I mean, Brew Pounder at Brew Pounder? They have some emo- emojis in there and they're, it's... It looks one's definitely coffee. Maybe it's a beer fest fan. Oh yeah, maybe it's a cold brew beer yeah. fest fan. Maybe yeah. I don't know. Okay, here we go. North Carolina, we're back. Mm-hmm. We're, we're back. We're back. back. Right it all on. comes full circle. North like Carolina Chick Fil A yep. faces backlash Whoa. over asking volunteers to work drive through for food, not pay. Ooh. How? <laughs> yeah, that's the I, the, the barter PR, system. The fact that no, I always think about this when things go through so many levels that then it becomes that nobody a news article. was ever like, wait, let me get this straight. You want people to volunteer to come work mm-hmm. at a very successful franchise. at a soup kitchen to give food to like homeless no, people in a Chick Fil A. Oh, at a Chick Fil A, at where a place where they're going to profit off of your. By the way, I love that this work. is like okay. all a food. This is our Paul Soder it food, food episode. episode. The food uh, episode. episode. None of us knew. Join us for a very delicious episode. Deli- yeah. Our dumb food with Paul Soder. Yeah. <laughs> a Chick Fil A restaurant in Hendersonville. Henderson, North Carolina, is facing online criticism after issuing a call out on social media for volunteers to work the restaurant's new drive through express. Hey, are you bored today and want lunch? Come on down to this corporation's location Do you and think these work people can free. handle it? I right. mean, untrained people uh, yeah, off they the don't streets. Know. Also, you know, is drive through where you want to put untrained feels people? Feels like a lot of pressure. Feels like a lot of pressure. Oh, By the way, up. I would look at the register behind any of these things and be like, I can't do this. No. That I would freak clean. me out. I could clean. Clean. If you gave me some task where you, you just put this in here. I and then you take Dan, this you can make here. fries. We, we made you fries. Can, you can make fries. fries. You definitely if make the fries. fries come from food. a pack. If you don't have to like put them through a potato maker and they come from a package, you pour them in the basket, you drop Dump it in the drop. grease, you press the button. It'll tell you when it's done. Right. You pull them out, shake put them on the, the table, shake a little uh, uh, salt on them and you're good. Getting hungry again. Yeah. But and also, I feel like now, don't the registers like aren't they really sort of idiot proof registers? Yeah, they're, they're pictures. Nah, they're pictures. Yeah, this is pictures. Yeah. Like I went to Taco Bell recently. Mm-hmm. Don't tell my wife. Guys. No. Oh, Jesus. Um, How many times my, did you get? I almost more than guy. six. <laughs> Mexican more than pizza. Mex- no, it's just pizza. a Mexican. You and Mexican pizza. pizza? Nice. And, Good call. Uh, and uh, Taco, Taco Supreme. But I, uh, I also was trying to break a, a break a twenty, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so my uh, what I ordered was uh, ten dollars and eighty one cents. So sure. I I gave him a twenty and eighty one cents so that I could get back the ten, 10 the ten yeah. that I wanted. Yeah, and it fried oh, this guy. Could not figure brain. it out. By the way, He's just like why did you give me the, the, the bill and this? Because I just want to bill back. I don't want. 19 cents. Yeah. Meanwhile, you tell the story that you went to Taco Bell to the woman in the first class cabin and she's like, bring the food out. He's, he can handle it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Taco Bell. Bring, bring it out. Him. He we can, can this handle guy. room temperature. He just ate a Mexican pizza, you guys. <laughs> bring it out. Bring out the OK Poke. <laughs> the fast food chicken restaurant promised free entrees instead of monetary compensation. We are looking, this is a quote from their post. Mm-hmm. We are looking for volunteers for our new drive through Express, the Hendersonville Chick-fil-A mm-hmm. said on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has since been delivered it after a flood of negative comments. Yeah. Yes. The post from earlier this week said volunteers would earn five free entrees per shift, one hour worked, and asked those interested to message for details. Now, I there mean, probably is something. One like, hour of working the thing. What are you doing this summer? Are you um, interning for Google? No. no for for Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. It's an internship. Do they, they give you credits? They no. Well, no. no college credits, but credit fingers. for food. At they pay for chicken fingers. The Hendersonville Chick-fil-A has declined comment and directed all media inquiries to the corporate press room, which sure. is funny because I guarantee this was a franchisee who was oh, like, let's yeah. do this. And now they're like, hey, yep. can you guys handle this for yeah. me? <laughs> Fix this. Cor- <laughs> Corporate's got to come down and talk to this guy, yeah. right? Well, David. <laughs> Chick-fil-A responded via email and linked to a statement given, by, given to Business Insider. The corporate press team did not answer questions submitted by the Times News. No, like it's not. Chick-fil-A and they're like, did you hire any gay people? No. no. All right, we're, we're good. fine. Yeah, we're good. We're we fine. 
we can fix this situation. (laughs) Chick-fil-A spokesperson told Insider on Wednesday that the company did not endorse the volunteer program and that the restaurant had decided to end it. So, Dan, I feel like this is a story that started late at night at Chick-fil-A uh-huh. as it's closing down and the owner is like, hey, you know what we should do? Yeah. Like, it, it definitely started in a, people hey, you know us. what we should do. People <laughs> love this location. You know those commercials where right. the two people are sitting on a couch right. and talking about how much yeah. the Chick-fil-A right. saved their life? Yeah. Like, the Come guy on. who worked at Chick-fil-A learned sign language to communicate, to communicate with, with, with daughter. Daughter. The People love us. Gut-wrenching stories. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. A, I cried. I it's, literally cried. It's like a... I think we've earned enough capital to hire volunteers. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> chicken nugget version of when Harry met Sally. It's like, I love those stories they're Somebody's probably like this could go bad and, and and david was like but if it works but if it works uh, genius free labor yeah uh, and we can d- we don't even have to respect dan. child labor laws dan, you know what the difference them. between a hero and a fool is success <laughs> dan that you want to put a three-year-old on fries do it <laughs> have you ever listened to somebody tell you they're like giant business plans and yes. they on the, friends who there's like cook. nine things that have to happen perfectly that will never happen. Yeah. Like when this happens, yeah. then this is gonna yeah. happen. This my gonna rule happen. is you're allowed one if. <laughs> Even for myself. Like when somebody this says like, what's going on if with whatever project? On, if I have more than one if, I'm not if talking. You, it's not gonna happen. If this, if people, all we got to do. All we got to do. Is, all they gotta say do. things like, if, and granted, that's a big if. And you're uh-huh. like, that's how you that's know all of it. stupid. That's the whole thing. If people, it's built on. If yeah, people so see that we're just going to offer them free food, right. they're gonna, we're going to have to like stop on. And then if people really get. No, no. This is going to catch on. If people realize, oh, I'm going to do that for a free meal, then, then we're, we're going to get so much free there's work There's so much forever. food that we say falls on the floor. We can give them that. I kind of hope if- it went so successfully they went bankrupt because they had given all their customers. There's no cars in the drive-thru because everybody's Everyone's outside. working there. <laughs> yes. I have this little sketch in my head now at Chick-fil-A corporate where they're, they've gotten this story and they're yeah. like, okay. Somebody's gonna have to go down yep. and talk to David That's and sort right. the shit out. That's and they right. look over and they end up sending the corporate intern who's working for food. That's right. Go down to talk he to comes down and is like, "This is what this is my job." Who ends up becoming really... a sycophant of David? That's right. right. You guys got to get down here. He's got ideas. Yeah. He's got ideas. Yeah. I'm not coming back to corporate. Right. <laughs> this is a quote from. You know what he said? He from wants corporate. to make the drive-through only motorcycles. <laughs> from their spokesperson, most restaurants are individually owned and operated, and it franchise. was a program at an individually owned restaurant. Right. The Chick Fil A. Facebook page has you been can attracting just hear comments. them distancing themselves yeah. away from on this. the matter. David, ooh, David, we don't know David. <laughs> this is what I love. If this <laughs> works out, Naked Tuesdays is going to happen. <laughs> right. If right, Adam and Eve days. <laughs> Chick Fil A <laughs> Facebook morning. page day one uh, has been attracting comments on the matter, even after limiting who can comment mm-hmm. on the page's mm-hmm. posts. They tried to like, like we the gotta, team a little bit. We gotta. A post featuring a back of house employee holding a young child eating an ice cream cone <laughs> received comments such as "found a volunteer that works for." ice cream instead of sandwiches it's no. even cheaper uh-huh. be aware there are child labor laws in this country another said man those volunteers sure are young yep cool meme a thread on reddit of you know, course everything you, goes you knew reddit was going to get involved paul which they say is a popular social news forum we know <laughs> <Yeah>. containing <laughs> screenshot of the post gained wide attention received nearly how many interactions on reddit. how many how many do you think do you, do how you many interactions i'll go first i think three thousand interactions okay You got this. I believe. I'm trying to think how many up. Yeah. I might we can make Jay go first. And down votes. Yeah, yeah. How many up votes? last? Jay we say 4,000 up votes and 1,000 down votes. Wow. Right? 5,000 so 5, 5, interactions. Okay. okay, yeah. I'm going to say 22,000 interactions. <laughs> it had 23,000 interactions. Oh! Oh, what? And about 3,500 comments by sure. Thursday afternoon. Sure. A top commenter asked, there's so much wrong here, I don't know where to start. Mm-hmm. But first of all, why not just give money instead of vouchers? Does he not understand how payroll works? <laughs> Guys, you don't have to fill anything out for vouchers. Right. Are you not a there visionary? There's no 1099. Yeah, there's no, exactly. Aren't they more than minimum wage? Yes, but you don't pay taxes on uh-huh. vouchers. That's you don't. Right. There's no liability That's on a right. voucher. That's right. While the restaurant is now seeking vol- is now seeking volunteer labor, Henderson's Chick-fil-A gained attention last summer after proudly announcing pay raises for its employees. This is probably why they don't want to hire yeah, anymore. Like, mm-hmm. we the franchise can't said it. this is actually really good. The franchise said full-time workers would start at $19 an hour. Amazing. In August good. of 2021. That was a jump from the previous April when Chick-fil-A Hendersonville promised to staff $15 an hour. Dude, that's not, a huge jump. Not all employees were eligible for the $19 rate. Workers uh, who were 14 and 15 started 
started at twelve dollars per hour and part time employees at fourteen. I don't know why this. You knew who else wasn't uh, eligible for that? The volunteers working on fries. Yeah, <laughs> the guy, the guy Free on the line, workers. the guy, yeah, fishing them out with his hands. The nine-year-old kid uh, working on the you know, line. Because you know we've done In-N-Out where it's so backed up that there's a person out there taking yeah. the direct order, and it's a big deal with Portillos in the in the Midwest where they. Wasn't there a you've got to have the right type of person. Wasn't there a story there at Waffle House where house. someone went in the back and started making waffles for yeah, everybody? Yeah, probably last night. I'm sure that happens everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's a it's a great story. That's story three. That. That's yeah. a show, friends. Yeah. That is there a show. That, again, the movie is quasi. I'm so Ooh. excited. Two days from now, when this 420. Drops. You're going to go to Hulu. You're going to watch this movie. You're mm-hmm. going to give it any positive reviews you can. Support it. Share it with your friends. Tell, Tell people friends. to watch it too. I'm so. This is so how great movies like this will continue to get made. Yeah, absolutely. Great to have you on the show. Great to have you. Thanks, buddy. Wait, are we done? I am. That's it. Okay. Well, you want to say one more thing? Well, <laughs> go for it. They had told me to prepare a dumb story. Oh, and I shit. had a dumb story, but then all these stories are food. Yeah, these stories. are all dumb. You'll come back and tell another dumb story. You don't have to prepare. You don't have story. to prepare a dumb story. You're good. But You're good. I, Does it have to do I, with the I, Delta flight? I well, is no, it more? but it is. It fits in with everything. <laughs> Please then go say it. And it, say it. Popped it. In have head. at it. And have at it. We own this show. So you guys know enough about me now to know that I have this emotional relationship with fast food and Taco Bell. I was a latchkey kid and McDonald's and all that. My wife doesn't like it. We get it. We understand. You go many times and she doesn't know that you go. Right. You're probably gonna go today. She doesn't know. She's not listening to therapy. And I go to twelve different. <laughs> Chick fil A. It's like so, when you, they think you said three soft tacos and you only said two, but you just leave it. Exactly. You leave two it. Mexican pizza. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> but I had a, uh, uh, I had a work trip because sometimes I'll do advertising work, and I had a, I had a, a trip in Arkansas. But I also had a convention. You have guys do cons, you know, yeah. cons. I yes. had, I had a, a con in San Antonio, and I had to be in, in uh, uh, Arkansas for work. So I decided I'll just rent a car and go and give myself a little road trip. And mm-hmm. that for me is always the hardest thing. Is not just giving in and, and, and every fast, fast food, food place yeah. on the way yeah and, and i had and it was a long drive They're and it had been raining yeah and there's and only like, those options that's it yeah, yeah yeah yeah. there's nothing and i'm like but I'm, I'm i'm gonna have willpower i'm gonna make it but it, it was stressful and it started pouring and mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. It, it turned into such a long trip and i i, I finally and i was bleary eyed and hungry yeah. and tired yeah. it was the middle of the night and i stop at a it's a you know gas station with a McDonald's attached, mm-hmm. and I had to stop for gas. No shame in that. No and shame. And just there was no way at that point. Once I was in the, you don't there, have to qualify gas. it any more than this. But it was just a really like just for me it was it, it felt you know like <laughs> thank a you. Horrible, you said thank you Jesus. Um, What's that? And I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Then you gave in. I'm getting gas. I got the I got, I got the gas the nozzle in the in the rental car, and I look over. Okay. I'm going to fucking McDonald's. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. 20 piece McDonald's. Here we <laughs> go. Chickens. Now, the, my only uh, real issue with McDonald's is you, you can't really customize. So what I always end up doing is I get my quarter pound of cheese and then I got to open it up and I scrape the pickles off. Thank I, don't, you. I don't like the pickles. That's right. So they will do that for you. No, but, no, but it, it, it takes eight hours, Dan. It takes 40 minutes longer. You don't no want to do it. Every time. He's got to go. He's on yeah, a road trip. And I hate pickles so much that I won't touch them. So I also go through the fries and find the kind of really hard brown fry that I can use as a tool. Oh, as, as a, a tool. tool. As a tool. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you grab is, one of them crispies? Yeah, I use a crispy to He's going to survive on a what, plane crash on a desert <laughs> exactly. island, okay? Because sure. he knows how to crispy it They bring pickles. So I am still, I've gotten my McDonald's and I'm standing by my car car and then it's just finishing filling up and I open up the carton to, to open up my, my quarter, pound, quarter pound of cheese and, and get the pickles off. And when I look down, there's a fucking cockroach on my shit. No, 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 I no. I scream. I throw the McDonald's up in the and air. And the pickles go in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the cockroach. And I don't know where the cockroach goes, oh but now my. I'm like... I'm terrified. I'm, of course. I'm out. Yes. I run. I get in my car, rental car, uh-huh. and I drive off with the nozzle, the gas nozzle, oh, still oh, in the, the rental car. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, oh it like, my disengages God. itself, but I'm, like, screaming and sweating. <laughs> and I, like, drive out of there without looking back. And How I get to far where I'm going. did you go to... Did you not pay? 72 uh, I no. think you prepaid. I had prepaid. Yeah, I had yeah. prepaid. Yeah. But I, and I, I, I knew nozzle. that I hadn't broken it. I knew that I, like, it's not like the hose was whipping yeah, yeah, around yeah, with yeah. gas it flying just, everywhere. Did, yeah. I, I knew that I hadn't really broken anything and I drove and never looked back. But when I think about that as being one of the dumbest things I've ever it's done, what somebody dumb. reminded me of once I got to, to Arkansas was like, dude, 
you realize that that gas station has cameras and that somewhere mm -hmm. on a surveillance video, they're that watching whole thing it. Oh, this is their is Christmas on, video on tape. And I'm like, forever. God damn it. If I'd really been thinking, filmmaker I Paul like, Soder loses his brain. <laughs> yeah, you made, you've made <laughs> like, the new employee training video. That yes. you, you, footage exists. I guess they probably wipe the tapes, but just no. knowing now that that moment was recorded. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and the camera will be so far away that it won't see the cockroach. <laughs> no, so you'll just seem like, like a guy who's in the, the middle of nowhere <laughs> freaks out. <laughs> like opened his quarter pounder, <laughs> lost his brain, drove off with the thing, and that right. is a great story. Right. Right. So lucky there you go. We got a little bonus story. Bonus Wonderful. extra yeah. story. That's how we do it. Thank you, Paul Soder. And oh, oh, thank you guys so much. Oh, shit. We got to get back to work, gang. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more to people town.